HQTV. Today we're at Electric Seki and we'll be interviewing Carmen Chan. She's a fantastic photographer and the co-creator of the blog, How I Met Your Style. First of all, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Carmen Chan. I am a photographer and I recently moved to Hong Kong from Los Angeles. In LA I was shooting fashion and lifestyle and portraiture and some music. I moved to Hong Kong recently to be with family. Um, so I'm just pursuing photography here. Why did you start your blog? What made you want to start a blog? I didn't really intend for it to be a blog at first. I just had an idea. I wanted to do a personal project and I follow these style bloggers and I'm like, they have amazing style on their own and they're all beautiful and like have so much energy and like personality. And I just thought it would be interesting to shoot bloggers in their homes and just see like what their homes look like and how they decorate and like how that inspires them. And I just thought that yeah, it would be an interesting project. And I brought the idea to my friend, um, Ken Wu, and I asked him what he thought about it. I was asking him if I should just make it a section on my website. Yeah. And he's like, you should just make a whole website out of it. And I knew I was leaving and I wanted to continue shooting. So I asked him if he wanted to contribute. So we ended up just collaborating. He designed the site. I love the design, it's yeah, amazing. It's really um, so now it's, it lives on its own. It's just a personal project for the both of us because we just love shooting portraits and just meeting new people and, and just capturing personal style. Do you shoot on film, which is very unique in the <laughs> blogging world. What made you decide to go that way? Yeah, we wanted the blog to have a certain feeling and a certain style and there's something about film that you can't recreate in digital. Like, you know, right away, right after we scan the film and we see it, it's like, oh, it just feels so nice and there's just something about it that digital can't capture, in our opinion. What do you hope to achieve while you're in Hong Kong? I think to just keep building my portfolio but try to like bring a different style to photography here because I feel like there aren't a lot of different types of photography styles here. So hopefully, I, you know, I get the opportunity to just collaborate with, with designers and, and brands and to just, you know, create something new out here. When you go into someone's home or any kind of project that you do, how do you approach your photography? How do you choose the shots? How do you choose what to shoot? It's really just what's interesting to me and then finding the right light for that. I think that's the most important. I think anything can be shot and made to look beautiful if it's in the right light. So, <laughs> um, anything, yeah. <laughs> If I think something is cool, then then hopefully our readers, you know, will, will find inspiration from it too. So, would you have any advice for others out there trying to do something similar to what you've done? Just to make sure that you're always having fun. Make sure it's something that you love doing, and it's something that you're passionate about shooting, and you're not doing it for other people because then it's like not satisfying. <laughs> Absolutely.